I'm Kendra, and here at Hook by Happenstance, it is time for another installment of Let Peach Lip Pick. Let Peach Lip Pick is my ongoing series here at Hook by Happenstance, where I let Peach Lip here, my little fibery doppelganger, help me decide what to work on next. So ordinarily, she's wearing a number of clips, which have yet to be replaced since I got back from my trip that she joined me on. So in a minute here, we'll get her dressed up again. But I just wanted to explain to you once more how the process works. We're going to take her clips, spin her around, pick one at random, and then we'll go visit that box in my stash. I'll give you a brief tour of what's in the box. And then on the spur of the moment, I will pick a project to make out of something in the box. And that is how Peachlet picks. So let's go get her dressed so that she can be a bit more useful to us. Peachlet last had her clips replaced for the new year. And I um, had been pulling them off and keeping them separated so that we would, you know, get a chance to go through the boxes again. But when I went on my trip, I tried to leave the used and unused clips separated. And I accidentally jumbled the piles here when I was getting them out of the drawer they were stored in. So I just have a handful of clips that I'm going to just put all of them back on and we'll start again. <laughs> It'll be fine. It will all be fine. I've got plenty of stash and plenty of projects that uh, I can pick from. So she's doing a little bit of an exorcist thing here, spinning her head around because the way this particular doll pattern works, the dress well built around the doll and on front of the head, it is, um, it is not, oop, that's a jumpy pin. The uh, the dress is not actually attached to the body, it merely uh, sits around it, kind of like your shirt does right now. So while it is all well and good for Peachel to help me pick projects, I also like to keep you up to date on the projects I've completed that she has already assigned me. So I've completed a few, but I'll just show you one this time and one next time and that sort of thing. So. so this completed peach lip project is one of the older ones. This is from the seventh Let Peach Lip Pick video, where she picked some of this Karen Jumbo and the Colorway Dalmatian, which I decided to make into a large sweater. If you'd like to hear me talk in depth about my process of making this and the changes I made and things like that, you can check out the episode of Makes Monday. 33rd episode is called Ahem. It came out earlier this week where I talk all about it and I wear it and it's wonderful. So now onto the picking. So do you feel a bit more yourself now with all your clips on Peachlet? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to give you a little spin and then we're going to pick a box. I'm going to pick this clip. What number do you think it's going to be? Number eight. I don't know where number eight is. Let's go look through my stash. So here is my stash, and as you can see, each of these, like, banker file box things is numbered. Aha! Eight. So, haha, the fingering weight yarn drawer. So, the back of this drawer, we have a mill end bag of this color of uh, fingering weight yarn. We have this one. I just recently made those cute fingerless mitts out of that color. Then here's like a fallish color. And this is just a teeny tiny scrap of some yarn that I made a shawl out of that had sea cell in it. Super pretty. We have, oh, how do I still have some of this Arcania? Hmm. We're not using that. That was the stuff that I had that, see how the hank is all like weird and pulled and it is a bear to roll up. Then there's some loops and threads wool like in some different colors. And is this wool like too? Yep, wool like. Bunch of wool like. There's some more of these things from the mill end. This is a shawl that is on my on the hook list. It's a design project in process. And this is out of a Premier yarn, which name I don't remember, but I have it written down. And we have some Vanna's Glamour, which is kind of a stretchy yarn. There is some more wool like. There's a few more skeins of Red Heart, Heart and Soul. And then there's this green skein. This is the one that I want. 
So I think I know what I've decided to do. I'm going to use this skein, which is Lion Brand Sockies in whatever this greeny mossy color is. I got this as a prize in a crochet along a couple years ago. And I, uh, I used a little bit of it in a hat, but I haven't used all of it. And most of the skein is actually here. I'm fairly certain I will weigh it just to make sure. But today I was looking at this pattern, the Mordecai Socks, out of the uh, Step into Crochet, Ron Strong Sock Book. And I was also trying to pick my project, the Yarns Around the World group, which is the group who I VKN with regularly. So basically that group is doing a craft along cal cal thing starting on february 11th which is a sunday i think and that is when we're all going to start making something that we want to do that meets those themes so i was thinking that i would try to make a pair of socks out of this because it's a shame that it's still sitting in my drawer for the fact it was like a prize and stuff now i will like i said weigh it if i don't have enough of that i might switch to i have this red heart heart and soul with aloe in the color green envy I have all of this of this green color and I kind of think I mean this color might be good because it's got like the little blips of other colors so it's a little bit rainbowy but I really just want to get this green one out of stash so I will definitely make socks of some sort out of this we will see um, what I ultimately end up mixing together but the Mordecai sock pattern was the one that was standing out to me I don't know why but I'm gonna pack this stuff up and I will get started on the 11th so I guess I can't start till then. Oh, then maybe I'll make these for that. Oh, because I'll have to wait and see. So many things to figure out. This is why I don't usually do cows because I, I have to think about things like that. Anyways, that is what Peachless picked for me, and I think she did an okay job. On the screen next to me is a link to some other videos from the channel, as well as a place for you to subscribe if you would like to make sure you don't miss out on any more of the fun content here. And down below is a link to my Etsy shop. If you'd like to see my project bags, I just put up an update today. I'll talk to you later. Bye!